No one likes to move. You hate it. Your cats hate it. Unfortunately, sometimes there is no way around it. We all know cats hate change, and introducing them to a new home can be disruptive and stressful for your cat. Today, I'm going to discuss tips on how to move your cat to a new home with the least amount of stress. I'll go over each step of the moving process, how to prepare for the move, what to do on moving day, and how to get your cats acquainted to their new home. I'm the Cat Butler. Welcome to our channel, where we try to help you become the best cat owner. If this interests you, please consider subscribing. Preparing your cat for a move starts long before the day the moving truck arrives. The first thing you want to do is update your cat's information. Make sure your cat's ID collar and microchip is up to date with your new address. This is a precaution in case your cat gets scared in a new place and runs off. Reunion with your cat is more likely if the microchip information is current. Arya, you sure like to stop me from packing. Next, you want to introduce your cat to a good pet carrier several weeks ahead of the move. Your cat is going to be spending a good amount of time in that carrier, so make sure it is comfortable for your cat. This will make the transition easier for your cat on moving day as you take them to their new home. Choose a carrier suitable for your move. Whether you have to fly to your new home or take a long car ride, you want a high quality carrier that keeps your cat safely inside and comfortable. I use the Sleepy Pod Air Pet Carrier for air travel and car rides. For air travel, it meets all airline requirements and is extremely spacious and comfortable for your cat. And for car rides, it has a strap that safely secures to the car seat belt. On moving day, you want to put your cat in a small safe room for food, water, and their litter box. You'll be opening and closing your front door a lot when it's time to load the moving truck. And the last thing you want to risk is your cat bolting out. While your cat may not like being shut in, you will have peace of mind knowing that they are safe. You want to feed a small meal on the day of the move. Feeding a small meal helps reduce the chances of your cat experiencing stomach upset or vomiting when you travel. Load your cat into the carrier right before you are ready to hit the road. While in transit, resist the urge to let them out, even if your cat is unhappy. Aria was quite unhappy during your move. Only let your cat out once you are at your new home and in a room with a closed door. Repeat what you did at your old place, keeping your cat secure in a room until all the boxes are inside and the front door is firmly shut. Leave food, water, and a litter box. As you get settled into your new home, you want to cat-proof the house and set up a permanent litter box space. As your cat adapts to your new home, it is sometimes common for them to attempt to return to their old home. It is safest to keep your cats indoors until they are bonded to the new place. Another concerning thing I noticed was Timo and Arya not having much of an appetite. They did not eat for two days after the move and I became very worried. Thankfully, they started eating on day three. If you notice your cat isn't adjusting after a few weeks, talk to your vet about possible solutions to make the transition easier. Hopefully though, being present and being aware will be enough to help reduce your cat's move-related stress. Show your cat that there's nothing to be scared of and gradually they should start to come around and adjust to their new environment. If you're wondering where Timo and Arya have moved to, well, San Francisco.